In 1995, Marie Chantal Miller and Pavlos of Greece vowed eternal love, a promise they have kept to this day. Following the death of his father, Pavlos became the head of the Greek royal house. 28 years ago Marie Chantal Miller and Pavlos of Greece sealed their love with a grand wedding. Since then, their lives have changed significantly they have had five children, moved countries several times, and currently, Pavlos serves as the head of the Greek royal house after his father's death. What seems unchanged is the excellent chemistry between the couple and the immense solidarity they show in all their public appearances, so much so that neither hesitated to use their social networks on their wedding anniversary to celebrate the time spent together and the love they profess. Happy to have you by my side, wrote Marie Chantal alongside a photo of the couple. Pavlos opted to share several scenes from their life together and wished his wife a happy anniversary 28 years of life together. Thank you for your love, our children and your way of life. This was the wedding of Marie Chantal Miller and Pavlos of Greece. On June 1, 1995, Marie Chantal Miller and Pavlos of Greece held a lavish wedding. It was a large-scale event that gathered more than 1,300 guests, including all members of the European royal families, such as King Juan Carlos, who rarely attends weddings, and Queen Elizabeth II, who was also not a big fan of such events. Marie Chantal was a commoner but also the daughter of magnate Robert Miller. Her father took on the financial responsibility for the wedding, which was filled with moments of love and romance, and the main highlight the bride's dress. It was a Valentino design that marked a before and after a dress that, since that wedding celebrated with an orthodox ceremony at St. Sophia's Cathedral in London, has inspired countless brides, although none could look exactly like her. There was always some speculation about the price, estimated between $250,000 and a million, as reported by a Danish magazine. It took four months to create this historic piece, a tulip-shaped ivory silk skirt, hand-embroidered with pearls and lace. Marie Chantal completed her look with a nearly five-metre-long veil, ensuring that Queen Elizabeth II had ample space for photographs, embroidered with arches and butterflies. It was held together with a corsage tiara, a historic piece adorned with diamonds and belonging to the Greek royal family. During the ceremony, Don Philippe, a close friend and cousin of Pavlos, held the crown over the groom's head and also handed the rings to the couple. The bride was only four minutes late, and after the ceremony, the newlyweds were greeted with a shower of petals. The reception took place at Hampton Court Palace, where the bride and groom were welcomed by a bagpipe piper and a blue carpet.